train your brain to see the gains. Hey, it's Jenny Wallach here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And, you know, it's really interesting, even though I know better, it's so easy to fall into the gap, into the self-doubt, and into just feeling cruddy because of a way that someone responds to you. So interesting, uh, recently I sent out an email to my agent friends and database, and at the very, very bottom of this long email that shared all my uh, notes and ahas from our Keller Williams family reunion, I say, if you made it to the bottom of this long email, please reply back, hi. And it was really fun because I had so many Thank you if you were one of them. So many friends that replied back and said, thanks, appreciate you. Your notes are great. I can't wait to learn more. All this positive, positive feedback. It felt good. And then I got to engage and interact with all of those who replied back with their kind words. Well, there was one, just one out of all of these responses. That wasn't very nice. Unsubscribe me. Take me off your list. And it hurt, dang, like why is it that we focus on that one non-positive response instead of the beautiful, positive, great feedback from all the others? Now, this isn't just this example in life. This could be anything. Is there Has there ever been a time you've gotten a not great online review, but you have tons and tons of other positive feedback and reviews from other clients and and happy, successful transactions, it happens to us all the time. We hone in and focus on that negative. Well, uh, re it reminded me of when, as a team, we read this awesome book. It's called The Gap in the Gain. I don't know if you've read it yet, but dang, Dan Sullivan and Dr. Benjamin Hardy really put it in great perspective for us. And that is to train our brain to see the gain. Now, of course, we're going to let that negative come in for a second, and we're going to just kick it right on out. If you've been in any of my training classes ever, 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 you know me at all, you have probably seen me touch the top of my head and raise my hand up to the air. And the reason I do that is because I'm talking to myself on the inside. See, we can't control that first thought that comes in, but we can control that next thought. And my next thought always has to replace that negative thought with something positive or acknowledging it and kicking it on out. This is what I call bless and release. And yes, you have absolutely, if you know me, you've seen me walking around blessing and releasing lots of thoughts that don't need to be there. So I guess that's my question for you today is what are your hacks to train your brain to see the gain and not get trapped in that gap thinking, that negative uh, spiraling thought sequence that just keeps you uh, reeling inside of it and instead moving forward and blessing and releasing. Uh, something that I took from this book, because, you know, we always want to implement what we learn. And it's actually on the top of my phone. I don't know if you can see it there, but I remind myself to each day count my wins. And so what the authors suggest is that, um, and I have a, a calendar on my bedside table, and I don't always, I don't do it every single day, but I do my best to jot down three wins from that day before I go to bed. And then I go and I write down, what are my three things that I need to accomplish tomorrow to win the day? See, it doesn't have to be this huge, long to-do list of things that will determine if I'm successful or not. It could just be a few simple things to move my business forward. And then lastly, share some gratitude. Go to bed with really great, positive, proud of yourself reminders of how you got through the day. And then you are set up for success when you get going the next day. Share with me all your ahas, all your hacks, all your tips, because we are not alone when we have that negative thought come in. We got to get it out as fast as possible because it just is not serving us. So I can't wait to hear back from you. See ya. Bye.